And I'm just, I'm being funny. But once you get out to the masses, that's when you start getting hate mail and people saying they want to kill you. And I would, I would consider you as famous or having, or having some sort of fame. You know what? I'm going to go on and accept that. <laughs> right? You, yeah. A million people on Facebook. That means you're known. Yeah. Um, but fame is not, I don't think it's always what it's choked to be. I think for people that uh, have it tend to be like, it's, you know, how has fame been treating you? It's cool, but it does have ups and downs. Like, I, I'll be honest with you. When everything, when I started going viral like that, really, and my followers started picking up, I probably had about three days of, oh, this is it. And then um, I started dealing with anxiety. You know what I mean? Like, because everybody knows your face. Fame is like, you ever seen the old, like, Indiana Jones movies? Or just any kind of, like, adventure type movie where they go into a, like, there's like, the, 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 where the hero's in a dungeon and they get us to a certain part of the dungeon and the wall, like, closes behind them? Okay. That's what it feels like. Because you can't go back and and like be like a regular person mm. you know what i'm saying but you can't like you reach the point of no return it's like you're here now you know what i mean that's that's kind of what it started feeling like you know because you become a target as well mm -hmm. i mean like if i said you know a couple of videos about like um about trump or about you know and i'm just i'm being funny but once you get out to the masses that's when you start getting hate mail and people saying they want to kill you and you've gotten death threats yeah, absolutely yeah yeah over See, like roasting oh just just the little stuff you know what i mean like i would make a make a video about you know of me doing the accent you know what i'm saying but people are so sensitive some people like if i okay if i i, I think i remember i did a video i was doing an african accent or whatever and there was some people who were like, oh man, it's so funny. And it was people, Africans, were like, oh man, that's funny. They understand that this comedy. And then you had some people who were like, dude, when I see you, I'm gonna kill you. Is this yeah. like common or an email? Or it's not as common as it used to be. Or is it in the comment section? Or no, not in the comment, they would inbox me. They would inbox me and tell me they gonna kill me or not catch you, gonna punch you in the face, da 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 da, -da and all that other stuff. I'm just trying to process the first time if I were to ever get that. Yeah. What was your reaction when you seen that? You just you already was mentally prepared for that? Well, I'm not stupid enough to reply to that. Right. But in my mind I was like, all right. Like yeah, but but like I I said before, I don't you know, mm -hmm. I don't do that shit. So, you know, you can say a lot of stuff. I mean, there was a cat that told me, you know what I mean, I'm you know, he said he threatened me, and but you know he was in um. He was I know remember he was in Vegas. He lived in Vegas, mm -hmm. and I was going to Vegas like in a couple of weeks. So I let it be known, hey, I'm in Vegas. So you know, you got an opportunity to make good on that shit you just said. So. You know, I mean, I, I'm here. Mm -hmm. Vegas ain't that damn big. If you really feel how you feel. And I don't want to make it seem like I'm like some, you know, bad, cocky person. Nothing, right. But it's just like. It doesn't rub you the right I'm way. Like, yeah, clearly. Like, I, but I take it that way. But then I I have a moment where I'll be like, you know what? All right, well, go ahead then. And then I have to get myself back and say no. Does that never make you want to get security on the team? I've had security before. Really? Okay. Uh, you know what? I was supposed to get security on one particular time. And security, when I got there, the security called the promoter and was like, do they still need security? And I was like, no, but just tell them that, man. I, you, we had, you know what I mean? We had a contract, everything. And he, I get there, he was just like, y'all still need me? Hell no, because if you acting like this, then you probably going to run if something happened anyway. And I was there at the little location for three days, and everybody knew I was there and nothing happened. You know what I mean? So, and like, like I said, I will, I get, you know, I, of course you get on the defense when people say things to you, you know what I mean? But I also just remember like, 
you you can't you can't allow people to to pull you to that point you know what i mean you have to understand that i, I have a thorough understanding that i have a gift that god gave me and it's to serve you know what i mean and to do comedy and i try not like you i know you you was looking at me like okay like but <laughs> but but at the same time it's like you know like i said god gave me a gift and i can't let my pride or my ego get me in that headspace right. you know even though just thinking about it just now it's like you know because i don't, i i don't want no problems you know? <laughs> I don't, but I don't doesn't seem like you have a problem addressing it either no i don't well no i don't but it's like you know but i try not to let myself get in that moment you know what i mean because my gift and and what god wants me to do is much bigger than than that than that bs you know what i'm saying so i don't i don't i try not to get into that you know but i've gotten a lot of inboxes like i was talking about the threats and stuff but aside from that i get inboxes of people saying man i love your stuff i was you know because the chemo and the dialysis and this and that and they watching that people going through struggles and i get inbox to see and i have to apologize because i gave some haters a little bit too much shine early on in this interview there's a lot of people that inbox me and say, you know, I deal with depression. I'm, I'm a, you know, a, a Vietnam vet or, or not, not Vietnam, but just, you know what I mean? They've been to war, they've been to military, all these things. And they go, man, but your videos, I never would have guessed that. For sure. I never, I never would have guessed that. So it lets me know that it's something a lot, a lot, a lot bigger than, you know what I mean, what's going on. And that's one of the things that checks my ego too. When people say, man, if you was here, I'd beat your da 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 And then, you know, you get mad, you think about it, and then you go, wait a minute. Why am I giving so much energy to that when there's a hundred other inboxes of people thanking me and saying how funny I am and how much they appreciate. And I'm over here thinking about this one jackass that obviously doesn't mean what he's saying. It has no intentions of acting on any of this, you know what I mean? So, I, so yeah, it's 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 just you know, it's it's bigger than that.